sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill It's khaki. Today, I want to talk about one of the things that we all dread in our weight loss journey, stalls. They suck. (laughs) The end of story. We all hate them, but let's talk about why they happen and what we can do to maybe get the scale moving again. First off, sometimes you have to change the way you look at things. Instead of seeing a stall as a negative, and this is hard, I like to think of it as a plateau where maybe your body just needs to hang out for a little bit and rest. Most of us who are on a weight loss journey, our weight loss is very irregular. It does not follow a sequential pattern. We cannot say we're going to lose two pounds a week until we are at goal weight. End of story. It just doesn't happen that way. Sometimes we will have great weeks. We will lose five pounds in one week. The next week, we might not lose anything. And to me, that is when our body says, hold up, I need to kind of regain my equilibrium. Kind of like when you stand up and you've been sitting for a long time and it takes your body a minute to kind of regain its, we call it proprioception, where you're at. And then you start walking. That's kind of what a weight loss plateau is. Anyone who tells you that they can tell you exactly why someone is having a plateau or a stall, it's not being very honest. Everybody is different. Everybody stalls or plateaus for different reasons. I'm going to talk about my experience and what I've seen in patients today. Number one, I say this all the time, the key for me and I believe for most people for successful weight loss and gaining a healthier life is tracking. You've got to keep up with what you eat to know if things aren't going the way that you feel they should You've got to have that data to look at to see maybe what's changed or what you need to tighten up on. If you don't track, you don't know. I've heard so many people say, I didn't go through this to have to keep up with every bite of food that I put in my mouth. And I understand. But I know for me, I'm a data person, and I got 140 pounds overweight by not tracking. So if that's going to change, I have to change what I was doing. So I I track. I just do it. It's not a hassle. I just I have an app that I like. I do it and move on. So if you see yourself in a plateau, number one, don't panic. Don't punish yourself. Don't withhold food. Don't really back up on calories. That is going to have, in most cases, the opposite effect. You're going to hang out where you're at even longer, or your body may react by holding on to food more and slowing your metabolism so that you even have a weight gain. So don't do that. If you have a plateau for two or three weeks, maybe it's time to look at your tracker and see what might have changed. Have carbs been creeping up? Has your protein been creeping down? Has your activity been creeping down? Sometimes it's pretty obvious what's going on. I find that for me, and this is for me, if I want to get weight loss moving again, I've got to pull back on carbohydrates, even those healthy carbohydrates. That doesn't have to be a forever thing, and it's not a drastic change, but let's say I'm eating 60 carbs a day, and I'm not where I want to be. My weight loss is not going where I think it should. I might back up to 50. See what happens. If that doesn't help, then I might look at the next thing I see a lot is protein. Add some protein. Look at how many grams a day you're getting in your tracker, add a little bit more. 
most of the time when you add something, you're going to take away something. So you're gonna increase that protein and maybe back up on the carbs. Another thing that I have found for myself can cause my weight loss to slow down or stall is not getting enough water. Do your best to hit those water goals. I think that your body needs water and sometimes the simple act of adding in more water can get the scale back where you want it to be. Another thing, increasing movement. Again, this does not mean go to the gym and have a two hour workout as a form of punishment. This means if you haven't been taking a walk around your neighborhood, try to do it. If you haven't been stretching, try to do it. Try to incorporate 10 minutes of activity in every day if that's doable for you. The other thing that I would suggest is look at things besides the scale. I know it's a cliche, but sometimes our bodies change and the scales don't. Are your clothes getting looser? Are you measuring? Are your measurements going down? Are you able to do things that you used to not be able to do or do them more comfortably? That's a big thing. Sometimes that scale, it's just a measure. It's just a data point and we get hyper-focused on it. So look at other things. See if maybe your body is changing in other ways besides the scale. So I would love to hear what have your experiences been with stalls and plateaus? How long have you stalled out before? I know for me, one time I had a stall for about a month. It was very frustrating, but I hung in, I looked at my habits, I made some subtle adjustments, and things got moving again. What have you done? What do you find that can make your weight loss slow down? I would love to hear from everybody on this. This is something that is so different for every person and very individual. I'm gonna add also, this just occurred to me, a lot of times I will see in myself when my weight has stalled, I look at processed foods. Am I eating more protein bars? Even if my calories aren't changing, even if my protein is staying the same, even if my carbs are staying the same, am I relying more on processed foods instead of vegetables, lean meats, healthy fruits, those kind of things. So you might look at that as well. In the comments below, put any ideas for future videos, any topics you would like to hear me discuss. And I hope everybody has a great week and I would love to hear from everybody. Happy Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. Bye.